everyone! Welcome back! Today is a very special day because it marks the one year anniversary of Project A Lift Win. So, one year ago, I sat in this restroom and filmed the hair tutorial for Kim and announced that I was starting my project acting like I'm famous when I'm not. And since then, I've made 30 videos, gained 218 subscribers, two sponsorships, and I'm just so, so grateful and thankful for all the support and love that everyone has given me. This is just a hobby, something that I like to do. And for you all to tell me that you enjoy watching my videos and that sometimes it even inspires you makes me really, really happy to hear. And so I hope everybody gets to do what they want. I don't know, just do what makes you happy and F the haters, man. No, just kidding. I really do. Um, <laughs> I do get hurt about haters, but just try your best, do what makes you happy, and be your own number one fan. Support yourself and surround yourself with people who support you and your goals as well. Okay, so that was a really long intro. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about 50 facts about myself. There are a handful of viewers and subscribers that don't know me in person, so I thought this video was a great way to share a little bit about who I am so you know a little more about this Katrina Stacy person you're watching. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and let's go to the facts. So fact number one, my name is Katrina and Stacy is actually my middle name. I have one older sister, she's 11 months older than me because I was premature. We both have the same middle name, so she's Karen Stacy and I'm Katrina Stacy. I graduated from UC Irvine this year. I graduated with two majors, education and psychology and social behavior. I'm currently in my gap year and trying to figure out what I want to do for the rest of my life, or at least the next few years. I am proud to be an ABC, American-born Chinese. My dad is Chu Chow and my mom is Hokkien, but they were both born in Vietnam and came to America in 1979. Since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a teacher. When I was in the fifth grade, I took a pause on the teacher dream because I really wanted to be an actress and make Cole Sprouse. And then I wanted to be a bakery owner. Not the actual baker, but just the one that- oh. I never get texts, what is this? But now I'm back to reality and trying to chase that teacher dream, but those other dreams are still in my head and I hope to accomplish those as well. I don't really like cheese, but some of my favorite foods have cheese in them, like steak quesadillas with guacamole and blaze pizza. I love, love, love lemon so much. I would squeeze it on everything if I could. I also really like salt and pepper. My hair is naturally wavy on the, this part and this part here, and I'll try to show pictures of when I was a kid. Every day I straighten my hair, and if I curl it, I straighten it and then curl it, and I blow dry it at night. So there's a lot of heat that is going into this hair to tame it. That's why I can't have bangs, because the shorter my hair is, the less tame it is. I like glittery eyeshadow more than matte eyeshadow. I used to be super insecure about my mole, so I have one here, and I have three on my arms that kind of form a scalene triangle. When I was a kid, I was so insecure. I would not like putting my hair up. And every time I would take off my jacket, I would always kind of hold my hand like this. And so I really just felt so uncomfortable. And even till this day, I'm not super comfortable with them, but I'm learning to whatever. People probably don't even care about them. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people's clothing string sticks out like this. It's just like, just, just cut it off. I'm scared of almost all animals. Some dogs are okay, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm so scared of them. I really like babies and little kids, but mainly only if they're well behaved. I also really like old people that aren't too grumpy. I love spending time with my grandparents and being silly with them, taking pictures and snapchats with them. My vocabulary is very, very small. I always say that it's the size of a crumb. I blame it on myself for not reading as a kid, but I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to read a little more now, and I try to read a little bit before I go to sleep at night. I'm currently reading Sheryl Sandberg's Lean In for Graduates. It was a gift from my friend, it was a gift from my friend, ah, why can't I say that? It was a gift from my friend, Catherine, so thank you, Catherine. I prefer small straws over the big boba straws. I actually don't really even like boba or any of those tea drinks. People think it's really weird, but my favorite drink is water. Hot water or ice water. I really don't like that lukewarm water stuff. I also really like tea, but I like the more Asian flavored teas like green tea, rice tea. I love the dentist. I know a lot of people hate the dentist, but I always felt so excited going to the dentist. When I was 10, I wanted braces so bad that I actually pulled out the last two baby teeth I had and they weren't even wiggly yet. I just stood there and yanked them out. I've been wearing my retainers for 12 years now and I'm on my second pair. When I was 10, I really wanted to get glasses and braces so I could look like a nerd. And then I got them both in the same weekend and I was in so much pain. I like it when people call me a nerd, actually take it as a compliment. When I was a kid, I always fantasized about being famous. I would even stand in the restroom and go, Hi, I'm Katrina and you're watching Disney Channel. 
embarrassing. I really was starstruck and loved celebrities. I was obsessed with Cole Sprouse and then Taylor Lautner. I used to play Maple Story and I made a guild called Team Taylor for Taylor Lautner and I remember being so happy. I wrote in my diary that night, I made my guild for Taylor. I also was part of the fan base that helped get him on New Moon. I have a really good memory when it comes to clothes. Like, I don't know why I can remember certain things people wear. Like, I can remember this very distinct outfit that my fifth grade substitute teacher wore. It was this black thing with a collared pink peeping out of the black sweater. I'm super reluctant to start TV shows. I don't know why. I just I feel like when I start a show, I just get so sucked in. I watched Pretty Little Liars, Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and now I'm watching Riverdale. So one of my favorite hobbies is making lip sync videos on Snapchat. I actually started this YouTube channel so I could put my compiled lip sync videos somewhere so that I could rewatch them when I'm bored. The name of this YouTube channel is actually Kip Sinks. I really want to be in a music video one day. I don't know as the actor or maybe even the singer even though I can't really sing I just want to be in a music video one day sometimes I wonder if I'm a teacher in the future do I have to delete my YouTube channel do I just let my students find it I don't know and last fact when I make my YouTube videos I usually only change my shirt and I keep my PJ pants on <laughs> So those were 50 facts about me. Hopefully you feel like you learned a little bit more about me. So now for the more exciting part. So as a celebration of my one year anniversary on YouTube and a thank you to hitting 200 subscribers, I wanted to do a giveaway. And you're thinking, why do I have a first aid kit? But it's not your average first aid kit. So this is more of a travel kit than a first aid kit, but I'll just let you know what's in it. First we have some pocket Kleenex, a Kaiser Permanente, not sponsored, mirror, Burt's Bees, the original flavor, Vaseline Rose Lip Therapy, not one, not two, but three pairs of chopsticks so you can eat with your family and friends. <laughs> Some Kiwi Washi Tape straight from Japan, an eraser, dude this eraser is good, it's one of my favorites so I'm giving it to you. Some floss because you gotta floss your teeth once a day. A notebook because you might need to write notes or journal, whatever. This brand new 0.7 pilot pen. Listerine strips because you wanna kill that bad breath. And last but not least, a completely filled out factory t-bar stamp card for some free boba. <laughs> so to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is comment below something that you're thankful for. And it could be anything. It could be something big, it could be many things. My other giveaway, people just commented random things like, oh, I'm here for the giveaway, but those are not going to be entered. So I'll have the giveaway open for maybe one week and then decide the winner. And if you have anything you would like to see from me, any videos you want me to do, feel free to comment below and request and I'll try my best. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye! I gotta go work on my research paper now. Thanks!